so this is example 1 solve this assignment problem four jobs are given say a b c d these are the jobs and e f g h these are the machines and this is a cost matrix and costs are given for example 2 this is a cost of performing job number a on machine e 3 is a cost of performing job number a on machine f and so on so every job job number a job a can be performed on these four machines and cost of performing this job A on the four machine is also different. Similarly, second machine, second job can be performed on these four machines and the cost of performing are different. So the cost may be same, may be different. Here we have similar cost of performing job number C on machine F and H. So how to solve this assignment problem using the Hungarian technique? So step number one, what is step number one? So we will apply step number one, subtract minimum element of each row from all the elements in that row. So first row is two, three, four, five. Minimum is two, so we will subtract two from all the entries in the first row. So 2 minus 2 is 0. Then 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. So minimum element is 2 and we have subtracted 2 from all the, the entries of the first row. 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3. Second row is this. It What is the smallest element in second row? 4. So we subtract 4 from all the entries in the second row. So 4 minus 4, again we get 0. 5 minus 4, we get 1. 6 minus 4, we get 2. 7 minus 4, we get 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. 5 minus 4 is 1. 6 minus 4 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. Now, third row is smallest element in the third row 7 8 9 8 smallest element is 7 so subtract 7 from all the entries in the third row 7 minus 7 8 minus 7 9 minus 7 8 minus 7 is 1 so we have subtracted 7 7 minus 7 is 0 8 minus 7 is 1 9 minus 7 is 2 8 minus 7 is 1 from the fourth row the smallest element is 3 so subtracting 3 from all the entries we get 3 minus 3 0 5 minus 3 is 2 8 minus 3 is 5 then 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 0, 5 minus 3 is 2, 8 minus 3 is 5 and 4 minus 3 is 1. Now step number 2, repeat the same step 1 for columns. That means now we start from the first column, 
look at the smallest entry and subtract that smallest element from all the entries in that column. So repeat step one for columns. All right. So we repeat step one for columns. Look at the first column. All four entries are zero. So when we subtract zero from all the four entries, there will be no change in the first column. So we get zero, 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 zero in the first column. Now look at the second column. The smallest entry in the second column is one. So we subtract one from all the entries in the first column. So one minus one, we get zero. One minus one, we get zero. One minus one, zero. Two minus one is one. Now, next column is column number three. The smallest entry in the third column is two. So subtract two from all the entries. So two minus two, two minus two, two minus two is zero, five minus two is three. In the third column, in the fourth column, the smallest entry is 1, so subtracting 1, 3 minus 1, we get 2, 3 minus 1, we get 2, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, we have performed step number 1, that is subtract minimum element of each row from all the all other elements in that row and we have applied step number 2, repeat step 1 for columns. Now step number three, cover all zeros, cover all zeros with minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines. So we have to cover all zeros. Now what happened? In this problem, if you look at the cost matrix, now there are many zeros, that is three zeros in the first row, three zeros in the second row, three zeros, four zeros in the third row, and two zeros in the, in the fourth row. Similarly, if, it, if you look at the column, column number one contains four zeros, column number two contains three zeros, Column number three contains three zeros. Column number four contains two zeros. Now, if, if this is a situation, that means if each row and column contain more than one zero, in that case, what happened? In that case, the assignment problem will have alternate solution. That is, there are more than one solution in this situation if each row and column contains more than one zero. So let us see. Actual the proce procedure is. If there is a single zero, we have to make an assignment there and starting from the first row. But here, if you look at the first row, now there are three zero. If we, then go to the second row, there are three zero. Go to the third row, there are four zero. Go to the fourth row, there are second zero. So there is no row containing single zero. Similarly, now look at the column. Column number four contains four zero. Column number two contains three zero. Column number three contains three zero. Column number four contains two zero. Now there is no column containing single zero. So if there is a single zero, we have to use it first. So now what we will do? Now we make arbitrary assignment because there is no single zero. If it is there, then we have to use it for an assignment first and then other assignments are made. So what we will do? We begin with the first, first row. We can 
have an assignment here in the first row. So suppose this is a, we have made an assignment. That means we have assigned job number A to the machine E. Now, since we are making an assignment in the row, we have to draw a vertical line. When we make an assignment in a row, we draw a vertical line. So meaning is that we cross these zeros. These zeros are crossed. That means this zero is crossed. That means we cannot assign this job B to the machine E. This zero is also crossed so that we cannot assign this job C to the machine E again. That means because we have to assign one job to one machine. So this, when we draw a cross, draw a vertical line like this while making, an, while making an assignment in a row, when we draw a vertical lines, it means we cross all other zeros. That means we do not have a chance to assign other jobs to the machine E. So we have crossed it. That means we cannot assign this job D to the machine E. All right, now go to the second row. We can have an assignment here. We can have an assignment here, make an assignment here. There, there is a now choice. Because there is a choice, there, there, are, there are alternate solutions to these problems. So you can use this zero or you can use this zero. Similarly, there is a choice here in the first row also. So let us use this row for an assignment, this, this cell that is second row, second column. This zero we assign, that means we assign the job B to the machine F. And when we make an assignment in a row, we have to draw a vertical line. So we'll drawing a vertical line, that means we will cross now these other zeros. Then, Go to the third row. Again, there are two zeros. We can use any one. But don't use this last because we have to use this zero. That means we have to assign this job D to the machine H. So we cannot have, we cannot use it. Now what we'll do, now look at the row number three and four. There are two zeros now left in row three and one zero left in row number four. So whenever this is a situation, we use single zero first. That means row number four contains single zero. So let us make an assignment here because uh, if we, instead of the, you, making an assignment here, if we make an assignment here and draw vertical lines, you will not have a choice of assigning this job D to the machine H. So single zero is utilized first. So single zero is there and there are two zeros in the third row. So we first use this zero in the fourth row. That means we assign this job to the machine H and cross all other zeros. So we have to cross it, other zeros. We will cross. Now, we have assigned this job A, we have assigned job B, we have assigned job D. Now, the only one job left and we can assign, we can have an assignment here. Here you can make an assignment. So, job C will be assigned to the machine G and make an assignment, assignment here. In a row, we are making an assignment. So, we can draw a vertical line now for this assignment in a row. 
let us draw a vertical line. So how many vertical lines we have drawn? One, two, three, four, and it is equal to the order of the matrix. So we have reached the optimum solution. So we have obtained the optimum solution by Hungarian technique. So first, let us write down one solution and then we will see the how we get alternate solution. So what is the, we have covered all zeros. Look at the lines. There are four columns. We have drawn four lines in all the four columns. So no zero left. All zeros are covered. And number of horizontal vertical lines, vertical lines are there. There is no horizontal line. So how many vertical lines? Four vertical lines and it is equal to the order of the matrix. So number of number of lines horizontal as well as vertical are four and it is equal to order of the matrix. So when this is a situation we get the optimum solution. So the by Hungarian technique. So optimum solution is reached. So we have obtained the optimum solution for this assignment problem. Therefore, the solution is optimum. And what is the optimum assignment? The optimum assignment that means which job is assigned to which machine. So job A is assigned to Look at this square, it is assigned, it is in the first row, first column. That is, there is a relation of job A with machine E. So A is assigned to the machine E. Similarly, this is an assignment in the second row, second column. That means job B is assigned to the machine F, B is assigned to F, C is assigned to G. Because there is an assignment in this cell, third row, third column, and D job is assigned to machine H. So this is an optimum, this is called optimum assignment. And what is the assignment cost? We will also, the assignment cost is, this is the optimum assignment, that means it, this assignment will give you the minimum cost of performing all the four jobs on four machines. It will give you minimum cost of performing four jobs on four machines. Also the minimum assignment cost Is. Now, cost, where are the cost? Costs are given in the problem. Cost matrix, look at the cost matrix. In which cell? This cell. First row, first column, second row, second column, third row, third column, fourth row, fourth column. This is a, in the problem, cost matrix, we will take this cost C11, then we will take C22, that is the cost of performing this job to the machine. F, we will take this cost, cost of performing the job C on the machine G, then we will take this cost C44. So C11, C22, C23, C44 in the given cost matrix. We have to use the numbers from the given cost matrix. So let us see what are the values. C11 is 2, this is the problem. C11 is 2. C22 is 5, C33, these, these are the 
assignments which we have made, which we have obtained from the using the Hungarian technique. So we have to add this cost. Two plus five, seven, seven plus nine, 16, 16 plus four, 20. Two plus five, seven, seven plus nine, 16, 16 plus four, 20. Two, five, nine, and four. These are the cost of the for this alignment. Costs are given in the problem. Cost of performing the jobs on these four machines are given in the problem. If you add, we get cost twenty. So this is a one solution of this assignment problem. And now we observe that they there can be other solutions also because these assignments we have made here looking at the zeros so there are many zeros in the first row many zeros in the second row so we can have other choice also so let us find one more solution for the same problem so we will require this matrix we will copy this matrix this is a matrix obtained in the second step so we will draw this matrix again and we will try to obtain another solution so we have drawn this matrix cost matrix which we have obtained in step number two again so what if this is a matrix which we have obtained in step number two first row contained 0, 0, 0, 2. Second row is also same 0, 0, 0, 2. So this is these are the two rows first two rows 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2. Then third row is all elements are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So third row is contains all four numbers 0. So we want zero here. Then all four elements are zero in the third row. Fourth row contains G, these entries 0, 1, 3, 0. 0, 1, 3, 0. All right. Now what we will do? We will apply step number three this is a matrix obtained in step number two so again we have to cover these zeros with minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines since uh, each row and column contains more than one zero so we have to make an arbitrary assignment and that is why we get alternate solution and remember every time when we have a single zero in a row or column when a single zero left we have to use that single zero for an assignment first and make an assignment there all right so what we have done in the first first solution we have made an assignment here actually there are three choices now in the fourth column there are two zeros so we can use this out of this two zero one zero can be used so let us use this zero for an assignment or you can have a choice again we get different solution if we use this first then we get one solution if we use this first then we get another solution so different solutions are possible so what we do here we make an assignment here let us use it in a row. We are using an, an assignment in a row. And when we make an assignment in a row, we have to draw a vertical line that is cross all other zeros. Don't assign this job D again, other job. Don't assign other job ABC to the same machine. So for that, we have to cross other zeros in. All right. Now, 
we are assigning job number D to the machine E. Now, again, there are choices. Let us see now. Now, there are two zeros in the first row, two in the second, three in the third. So, what we will do? We will use, let us first make assignment in the first row, or you can make an assignment in the second row also. Let us make an assignment in the first row. We can use this zero or this zero. Now, there is again a choice. So, again, we get different solution when we have a choice. So what we will do now, let us select this. You can select this machine also for the job A. So let us select this, this machine F for the job A and make an assignment there. We are making an assignment in a row. So cross other zeros in a column. So we draw a vertical line, draw a vertical line. Now, Job A is assigned to the machine F, D is assigned to the machine B. Now, look at the row number 2. Now, only one zero is left for this job. That means only one machine is left. So, utilize it first. Whereas for job number C, two zeros are left. There are two choices. You can assign it to G and H. But when, if you assign it to G, then you cannot assign B to the same machine G. So, what we will do first? Utilize this single zero, single in this situation now, there is a single zero in the second row, single zero left. So utilize it first. So we make an assignment here. B is assigned to G and cross other zeros. Then we have to make an assignment in the first row we have made, in the second row we have made third row left and now only one column left so, and zero is there and assignment is possible so make an assignment here and draw the vertical lines so all zeros are crossed right this now how many lines we are drawn four lines four vertical lines so number of lines number of lines Of course, all lines means horizontal as well as verticals, but there are only vertical lines are four and it is equal to order of the matrix. So therefore, optimum solution is reached. What is the optimum assignment and the optimum assignment the optimum assignment is so this is an assignment look at the squares this is a square in the first row second column that is job a is assigned to the machine f so A is assigned to F. Job B is assigned to G. Job C is assigned to H. And D is assigned to E. And for this assignment, what is the optimum assignment cost? That is minimum assignment cost. We always get minimum assignment cost using Hungarian technique. Hungarian technique gives us minimum assignment cost. So in this case, the optimum assignment cost is now we will use this cost C12. So where is a cost matrix? Cost matrix is given in the problem. Cost of assignments are given in the problem. So we use those values. A is assigned to F. That is, this is an assignment in the cell C12. C12. In 
in the given problem c12 is this 3 and c23 is 6 so 3 plus 6 3 plus 6 then other two in the third row c34 3 4 and 4 1 c 4 1 3 4 and 4 1 so the cost of assignments are c 3 4 and 4 1 that is 8 and 3 8 and 3 So eight plus three. So what is the total cost? Six plus three, nine. Nine plus eight, seventeen. Seventeen plus three is twenty. So this is an other solution. But what we observe, the assignment cost is same, twenty. In this problem also, in the first solution also, we get same assignment cost. So we get alternate solution with same assignment cost, same minimum assignment cost. So similarly, we can have many solution here. There are many choices. So you can have many assignments here in this problem, but in all the solutions, you will get same assignment cost. So this is how we solve this assignment problem. In the, this is a first problem we have solved and we have obtain the solution and there are alternate solution there are many solution for this problem so step one step two and step three gives you this solution for the given assignment problem all right we will stop here and we will solve some other examples in the next period